Oh, let's talk about Tim Pool for a second. D D David DePappy. This is the man who attacked uh, Paul Pelosi in his home. Ostensibly, he was looking for Nancy Pelosi, I guess. Um, and he testified in his case. He's since been convicted of, of assault. Um, I don't know if this man would have gone in to uh, and, and tried to attack uh, the Pelosi's if Tim Pool didn't exist, if uh, Lindsay, uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, uh, James Lindsay. James Lindsay didn't exist. Um, I think uh, people who react in this way uh, to stuff clearly have some mental and emotional issues. But I also think that people who listen to Tim Pool on a regular basis, there's a prima facie argument that they have, they all have mental or emotional issues. If you actually listen to this guy and get their news from them. Um, but the point is, is that there are within any population of people, there are people who are uh, emotionally or mentally um uh have issues maybe they're being treated maybe they're not that is the nature of every society and you need to if you are speaking to a society be aware of this because it's just human nature and you need to take responsibility on some level as to what you're putting out there People can have a, dis uh, you know, a disagreement as to what is reasonable for you to say when you're in this position. Um, but if it keeps happening and people who do these type of things keep mentioning your name, you may want to ask yourself, why is that? And Tim Pool has the answer, and that is, I don't believe any of it. <laughs> The man who attacked Paul Pelosi last year has testified that it was right-wing conspiracies driven by Gamergate, Gamergate that resulted in his plot to break into the Pelosi's home and to prove corruption. You see, his plan was simple. He wanted to kidnap Nancy Pelosi, force her to confess to corruption on camera and post it on the Internet. And he said he wanted to send a message to members of Congress that there are consequences for corruption. It's rather insane, if you ask me. But we're all big fans of the mainstream media, so let me just say, Paul Pelosi, comma, who was accused of trying to buy drugs from a man in San Francisco in a deal that went wrong, comma, was, uh, you get the point. That's what the media does. Yes, Paul Pause Pelosi it. was accused. I, I, I don't get the point. I don't know if that's his trying to sort of like imply He's, he's no trying angel. to imply, well, I don't know if he's trying to imply that that's why the pape was in the house. Right. Now, if you were to believe that, which he seems to be promoting that idea, but without trying to promote that idea, if you get my drift, uh, if you believe that, you have to believe that the pape's testimony was all fraudulent in his own case. And instead of actually saying that testifying in that way which in some way may like help his defense he's been convicted incidentally um tim pool will have you believe that no all of this is a fiction continue was uh, you get the point yeah. as the media does yes paul pelosi was accused of doing such a thing there's no strong evidence for it just i don't know circumstance and people wondering why it is that this guy was able to get into his house there was no security detail and the story doesn't really add up and now quite conveniently what the media is reporting is that DePap went on the stand and so, said sorry James, just pause it one second like the idea that like rand paul was beat up by his neighbor like these people don't have security on like guarding them at all times let alone no, the family the members family exactly. members of course not yeah. conveniently what the media is reporting is that DePap went on the stand and said James Lindsay, Glenn Beck, and Tim Pool that he was watching these podcasts and then got angry about corruption. But you know what? Look, man, I my attitude it. on all this is I don't believe it. Don't know. Don't care. I just don't believe it. This guy, oh, it's so convenient 
that all of a sudden he's coming out and claiming like Glenn Beck and James Lindsay, me and many others were inspirational or that's what he was listening to. It's a uh, absurd nonsense. It's a meaningless thing they add to these stories because they're trying to drum up traffics by including our names in it and things like this. Because the reality is, yeah, each and every one of us have quite literally said. All right, pause it for one things, second. So his charge is that this is, I can't tell if he's thinking that the testimony was made up because the, all they're doing is reporting what the guy said on the stand. Right. Like, the story is that someone broke in to the Speaker of the House's house, attacked her husband because she was waiting, because the guy was waiting to kidnap the Speaker of the House, and he doesn't expect the media to report on the testimony of this guy? I mean, just to, like, kind of a comparison. If somebody said, I went to this uh, protest for Palestine because of what I heard on your show, I don't think we deserve all the credit for it, but I would say, like, that probably we probably influenced that person to some degree or because they explicitly said it. we're encouraging like some other, they've heard it from some other places. Yeah. And, you know, the, the fact is, is that like there is a parasocial dynamic that exists here. There is a dynamic of like, there's a million other people subscribed to this channel. This person has, and, and I don't subscribe to, you should give any authority to anything that we say here beyond it its ability to stand on its own but that's a dynamic that takes place tim pool is aware that when he goes walks through a, a you know an airport people come up and like oh my god tim pool can i take a uh, selfie with you he said i mean the, what we say here has implications for people whether it should or shouldn't and you don't need to be doing this very long to understand that dynamic but he's saying, like, I'm not going to, he's even denying it happened. La, 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 la. Do, do, do. Go ahead. Let's hear what now he's going to explain how it's so ridiculous. It's just a coincidence that multiple people now, multiple people, have expressed that they have been bathing in these ideas. And they cite these people just randomly, I guess. Like you could have, you know, it's, he's not getting it from a book. Are they coaching him to say it on the stand? Though? I mean, honestly, like what is the point that Tim is trying to make here? Who is lying? The media shouldn't report this. Is that what he's saying? Or that the guy just made it up in his own defense, which got him nope. nowhere, <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> stories because they're trying to drum up traffics by including our names in it and things like this because the reality is yeah each and every one of us have quite literally said that the things this guy does or did or is accused of doing is the end is the opposite of victory of so victory? It's, it's it's just i find it fascinating that this is the narrative that's emerging a year later in testimony because once again james Lindsay's like core point is your reaction is their goal and so if you have a guy like him or me who are like violence is the opposite of success, engaging in violent action is costing us. And the fact is we are winning. Well, hold on. Why would someone who listens right, to pause these it for one podcasts, second. I see this is where I get a little bit confused. So wh who is he talking about is winning here? Tim Pool and James Lindsay are winning. Didn't did he just say to Emma, like, I'm a liberal, you know, listen to my show. Like, who is... What is he winning? What's the win here in terms of uh, what, what is he talking about? But continue. And the fact is we are winning. Well, hold on. Why would someone who listens to these podcasts actually go out and do something like this? Doesn't seem to make sense. Now, the simple answer, of course, Occam's Razor would suggest this guy's nuts. And that's simply put. But of course, now the leftist narrative is to try and poison the well and make the argument that if you listen to Glenn Beck, me, many others, it's not just us, you know, but those are the names I'm using. Uh, if you listen to us, that we're somehow inspiring these people to do these crazy things, which is once again, if I make video after video after video where I'm like, we are winning. So we need to double down on get out the vote initiatives. We're winning the culture war. We're winning politically. MAGA uh, candidates are, are, are storming the gates. Matt Gates is winning. Why would anyone in their right mind be like, well, I guess I better go do something crazy.
Certainly, that's not what this show would actually inspire someone to do. In the meantime, what do we actually have? Far left extremists in Atlanta with with sharpened tools and uh, weapons, gas masks were. Uh, uh, okay, uh, so you see, she's turning the top, uh, the change of the topic. I don't think that is there the is a, uh, well, I mean, if you are making the money that he's making at, in his compound and you are doing so because you are such a great communicator, don't you have to ask yourself, like, why is it that there's multiple people now who are citing my show as being an inspiration for these acts that I that I supposedly say are completely uh, antithetical to what my project is? Doesn't that make you say, like, maybe I'm screwing up in some fashion? Also, he knows that he hasn't been doing the whole, we're winning thing. Everybody relax and just do a civil... Has he been talking about a year ago? He was talking about Here's race the, wars and civil wars and... The grooming of children is not stopping. People are calling for more violence. I do not think legislators will stop the grooming. People will not stop calling for violence. You tell me what happens next. That when is, was that? That uh, Let's see here. That was around... I, it doesn't say it on the... Yeah. Oh, 2020, 2022? You mean right around the time that this guy uh, perpetrated this attack? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, this is November 2022 there. Oh, we're winning. We're yeah. winning. Not exactly that we're winning. Everyone just trusts your representatives. <laughs> <laughs> liar. 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 Total liar. And, and and it's also sort of fascinating to like, I, I watch that segment. I can't tell who he's saying is lying. Yeah. Is he saying the guy on the witness stand is saying is lying, or is he saying that the it's media a narrative is lying? lie? It, it's the same thing with that thing with Emma and the abortion thing. He called a hoax. Like who is actually doing the hoax here? Is it the media? That's the way that they're covering it is a hoax. Right. And I, the actual thing. He's a, he's a liar. I think it's slightly nebulous, but I will say from the, the title of the video, it says Pelosi attacker to Pappy testifies media blames Tim Pool, James Lindsay, Glenn Beck and Gamergate. But again, like, so, so I, I think it's there's a potential that he's saying. That well, media it's easier for him up. to say, but media, he has to he's say just, that. He's, he has you know, what to, he's reporting is that d the guy said it's, it. it's, it's clouded. Yeah. Right. The idea that the media wouldn't have reported on his testimony, regardless of, of if he said James Lindsay and Tim Pool, because I got news for you. Normal people don't look at like the L.A. Times and ask a question about Tim Pool. Yeah, that the grooming of children is not stopping tweet. That was, yeah, the month after the attack. <laughs> His entire output is like, there's going to be a civil war. Totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs>